Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm gonna show you what is and how to make pictograms. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, the pictograms are a graphic tool that allows to synthesize. It got the following characteristics. Um, it is a graphic tool that allows you to synthesize actions with a graphic line of unity and well-defined. It aims to generate a visual language that generates recognition by viewers and visual receivers. This tool is used in any graphic proposal that requires synthesize and visual unity. The development of this tool correctly is very important because allows you to know how many pictograms are going to be used in the proposal and it also very important that generates recognition by the specters. Okay, so when you are going to start develop pictograms, the first thing you do is to know the context and to know who are going to be the receivers or the viewers. The theme of the pictograms are also very important, so you need to have this information before you start designing. After that, you define the graphic line. If you don't know what a graphic line is, please check our tutorial here in our channel because over there we have all the elements to create your graphic line. But when you define and you're going to start uh, doing your pictograms, it's very important to know thickness of the line, the color, the visual identity is also very important also, if you're gonna fill in the pictograms or are going to be without filling, it's also really important. Is it gonna be encapsulated? No, yes. It's really very important to have that information. After that, you start sketching. And it's very important to create different options. It's very important because it allow you to understand the concept, allow you to create and define all the different components. When you have many options, multiple choices of the sketch, it's very important in some cases to have keywords. Sometimes the pictograms need a keyword so the person can be direct and understand what they are doing. When you have the identity, it also could be the brand identity. If you are creating a pictogram collection for a presentation, it's also very important that you keep in mind that the brand identity is very important. After you define that, you go to the part of vectorize. It means when you put it in your Illustrator, in your Corel Draw, in the program where you are doing uh, your pictogram collection. That is very important to vectorize all those components, so you know how is it going to be. After that, you have your proposal. As I told you before, it's very important to have multiple options, so you know which one is going to be better. For example, if you see all the pictograms here that we have in our channel, are the proposal one, but from time to time we change a little bit, but we keep the same graphic line. As a conclusion, we can say that to have a pictogram collection, it's very important to know the number of pictograms that, uh, sh that should be defined from the beginning of the development. Why? Because it's not the same to make a collection for a small place that for a whole brand. It's different. Even though the graphic line will be the same, but it's very important to keep that in mind. Have a visual graphic line unity in all visual elements of the pictograms are really important. Color, thickness, and type of line. Filling in, yes or no. Encapsulating, yes or no. Keyword, yes or no. Always very important to keep that in mind. You must be created in the proposal. You can have a visual reference, but the proposal must represent the visual identity of the brand project or proposal that is being developed. I strongly recommend to check trends. If you are going to develop something new, 
you need to know what is going on right now, what is happening. So always very important to always check trends before you develop your pictogram collection. Thank you very much. I hope this video will be a big help in your development. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Thank you to all of you. We are the number one channel in design thinking and agile methodologies in the whole YouTube universe. So thank you so much. And remember, on Monday, we always have a new video in English on Thursday. No, sorry. On Monday, we'll, we always have a new video in Spanish. On Thursday, we always have a new video in English. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.